So this marble is 60 millimeters. Let's check if our spreadsheet is correct. The mass gram is 882. I have a kitchen scale, so let's check our spreadsheet a little bit quick here. 882. It says 882 on the scale. Wow. We have just confirmed physics. There's a really cool lesson to be learned here. How is it that I could predict in a Google Sheet the weight of these two objects to the gram exactly? Well, it's because Newtonian physics is very well known and very well understood. And even a newbie like me can just find the physics formulas and calculate this. And this is telling us something extremely important for the marble machine. We can know things about the real world in theory, which means that we can use theoretical tools to actually predict the behavior to a certain extent of a physical marble machine. This is a symbol of what we're going to do in this episode, because we're going to design the machine in theory using exactly things like this that allows us to make great predictions without having to build a lot of prototypes and burning a lot of time in iterating in the physical world. Instead, we can iterate in text documents. Exciting. <laughs> Sorry, I have to get some liquid courage. I, oh. mm. I will need that today. <laughs> what should the Marble Machine 3 do? The machine should drop marbles on instruments in a controlled way. So this interaction between the marble and the instruments is a very good starting place uh, for a design process. On my first machine, I iterated in the real world, cutting pieces out on the bandsaw, and that machine couldn't go on a world tour. On Marble Machine X, I used a lot of CADs. So I was like designing like this in CAD, and I was looking at it visually, and I thought I was absolutely invincible, uh, because with CAD everything would work, right? No, the Marble Machine X also wasn't good enough to go on a world tour. What are we going to do to make Marble Machine 3 work? Well, we're going to design in text. <laughs> this is the content you've all been waiting for, but actually this could be interesting. I'm inviting you to do the same mind shift that I'm trying to do, to be interested in what I'm actually writing down in the text document, because this is the machine. What instrument groups do we want on Marble Machine 3? I know I want a drum kit. Do you see the drum kit in your mind? I also want percussion units, a bass, and I want a vibraphone. So these are the instruments for the Marble Machine. And today I want to start working on the drum kit. Huge thanks to 29 new backers and some of you even upgraded your level of support this week. Thank you so much, it means a lot. What instruments do we need in the drum kit? Hmm, we definitely need a kick drum. Snare drum, hi-hat, no discussion. Do we need the hang tom? Why would we need toms? Well, we can go to goals and purpose and check why we need toms. It says in the music dream goals, the machine can play dynamically. So for example, with the toms, you often do fill in. So tu tu kaku, tu tu kaku, tu tu kaku, tu boom, 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 tsh. That's called a fill in and that makes the music dynamic. So. I want toms on my marble machine. Rack tom and a floor tom. I only need two. Uh, three is not necessary. That's excessive. So delete, delete, delete. I want a crash symbol. And I want a ride symbol. And that's the drum kit. Let's hone in on the first drum, the kick drum. How many dynamic levels? When I made the trial with the kick drum, I dropped a lot of different sizes of marbles from soft to hard. In this way, we can make the kick drum really dynamic, like a human could play it, but we're not going to do that because I need to simplify this machine. I promise you all that I would delete, delete, delete. Watch me delete one single dynamic level which also excludes the rubber band solutions. Right here, right now, I'm simplifying, okay? We're going to have so many channels on this machine, so if I add a bit of extra feature everywhere, this thing is going to crumble under its own weight. This is Martin being responsible, wanting to finish this project. Are you excited? <laughs> 
how long music patterns does it need to play? Let's check that. I think the drum beat should be on 16 beats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Boom! 16 beats per prog wheel revolution. How tight does it need to play? Less than 2 millisecond standard deviation. So the two remaining questions here, how often should it be able to play and how many different music patterns does it need to play, will decide how many channels, how many tracks we will need for this instrument. So on the marble machine, we need some recharging time. What we're discussing is how fast a single marble track can drop two consecutive marbles. And I think 1000 milliseconds is, is a good lowest level. So one of these kick drum regions are exactly 1000 milliseconds. So if we want the kick drum to play more often like this, we need to double the channels. So we can add these uh, green kick drums and put them in between. So we have blue, green, blue, green. So now we can determine how many tracks, how many marble drops we actually need. So let's say we have a faster song. So in this case, we would need a third channel. We need three marble tracks, three programs, nine programming tracks. Now is the question, how big should the kick drum marbles be? 60, 50, 40. 40 feels like. Let's for fun check if the math is correct for the 40 millimeters as well. It says 261 grams. Yes, 261. I can still do math in Excel, okay? How big should the kick drum marbles be? 40 millimeters. This cylinder in CAD is saying almost nothing at all. Whereas this text says so much more. So in this simple text, we have so much information. And I think this is why the engineers have been pushing me into text. My, my mom has been on to me about the music in the videos again. <laughs> I'm trying to explain to her, like I'm trying to finish the marble machines. I can't think about that. And she's like, yeah, but what about the music then? So yeah, here, here it goes. <laughs> You know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go straight for the toms because they're simple. I know exactly what I want them to do. Only one marble size, but I know that we're gonna need two marble tracks because we wanna play du -du 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 two marble tracks. What else? Oh, the modes. Two modes, on, off. The floor tom is going to have exact same stats. Toms are done for now. And I went ahead off camera and started to work a bit on the symbols. The most classical use of a crash symbol is to hit the first bar of the chorus, like here we go. <laughs> like that. Uh, exactly. I need to keep things simple. So I'm going to have only one single sound of the crash symbol, just a classic crash. This is very, very minimalistic for the crash symbol. However, this is the ride symbol. At the top of the text document here is the classic ride sound. So secondly, we have this bell sound. And then we have the crash sound, which is just this simple. And I'm only going to assign a single marble track for that and a single programming track. That can't play so often, but it will be a nice effect. And then the last one, my favorite one then, the cymbal soft sound. I'm excited for this. The ride cymbal will be expressive on, on the marble machine, definitely. Expressive, but not excessive, okay? That's, that's what we're going for. Thank you, Hannes. I knew. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So now remains the snare drum and the hi-hat, which are so important for a drum kit. Normal, hit, hard. So that's the classic rock and roll snare drum stroke. But then we want some dynamic. So then we want a normal, hit, medium, soft. But then we have something called ghost notes. One. Those are ghost notes. So that's the classic strokes, but then we want rolls. Rolls are so important, but you can do a very short roll. That's a short roll, but I really want a long roll. Key, 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 key sound. 
And then we have the controversial side stick. Yeah, that, that's nice. How many tracks do we need for the normal hits? So I'm gonna go for the hard, I'm gonna go with four. That's such a classic drum thing that you want to be able to play. And you can't do that without four tracks. Okay, snare drum is done. Let's take a look at the last drum in the drum kit that we haven't touched, the hi-hat. Ooh. hi-hat. I just thought of something actually. If we have enough marble tracks, we can also achieve dynamics by dropping two marbles at the same time. I kind of never thought of that. As long as they're not hitting the same spot, not colliding in the air. I know I want two dynamic levels at least, so soft and hard. That is really going to be, and that's also the soft is hitting more up here and hard is hitting more on the edge. But imagine you want a really hard stroke. Well, perhaps you can drop two of the hard marbles at the same time. So you have then, you get three dynamic levels. You get one for free. So soft, hard, and then two symbolizes with two drumstick. Like that's super hard done. That could be a really interesting idea for the Hyatt. So let's put that into text, which also, this could also actually make sense for the snare drum. Hmm. This is a uh, efficient design. Look, we have only two marble tracks and I thought we had only one dynamic level, but no, we can get one for free. Two dynamic levels, single hit, double hit. Interesting. We're getting dynamic music for free. Why is that so important? Let's go to the goals and purpose. The music dream goals, the machine can play dynamically. These things makes a big difference. Okay, this is a wonderful find actually. And I think it's funny that I find it in a text document. Hmm? The signing in text documents. It's, it's not the walkthrough mortar you all thought it was. Can we drop all four marbles at the same time perhaps? So you know when we play the Simon and Garfunkel, this na na na, we drop all the marbles on the snare round. <laughs> na 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 all the marbles poof. you know they recorded that snare drum on the top of mount everest and they had only a microphone down in the valley here it comes By the recorded on the top of mount everest i'm i'm over the moon happy about about uh, about this little thing this is like today's video's amazing thing if we drop two, mar two marbles at the same time we get more volume wow so now the whole drum kit of the Marble Machine is described. Let's put this into a spreadsheet to see how many channels we have. And here I'm summing up the total number of channels. And I'm happy, 56 programming tracks and 40 marble tracks for the entire drum kit with all this expressivity. So this programming wheel design that I showed in a previous video, we can easily achieve 56 channels. The drum department of the Marble Machine is not only the drum kit, we have also the percussion department. So first of all, we have this uh, pipe dream carousel, this crazy thing, and we have the shaker module. And I went ahead and put them into text off camera. Here's a pipe dream carousel, four instrument slots with replaceable instruments. So we can put whatever in that. If we want a tambourine sound, we can put a tambourine sound and a marble could hit it. And we could have that sound. And then we could have, um, it could turn around, so you could switch like this, and then the marble hits this instead. And then we have this shaker unit. Uh, so we transfer rotational movement, which is in sync with the music, to back and forth movement. And I think we can make the marble machine play that. We have now actually captured the entire drum section of the marble machine and we have only 59 programming tracks which means that if we make the programming wheel one meter wow we have one and a half centimeter of space for each track that is more than we need so this programming wheel we can make it smaller so yeah this is a very very good first uh, approximation of the entire drum side of the marble machine in text and so far, I've actually been pleasantly surprised about how creative I felt sitting, thinking about this in text. 
figuring out this with that we can get another dynamic level by dropping two marbles at the same time. Ideas like that from only being in a Word document. I'm actually thinking to <laughs> I could I couldn't deliver it. To make the tour only with a <laughs> Word document. <laughs> 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 six six sold out nights in New York in a the theater. Just me on the stage, a very cheap production also with a laptop and a projector. Hannes can make sure the the HDMI cable is plugged into the <laughs> to the projector. Like intro and everyone's like, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And everyone's like, whoa! Who needs marbles anyway? Even though we haven't built anything that we can look at like this, I think we should look at these five pages of text that I produced today as a huge step forward for the machine. This text is describing exactly what basically half of the marble machine should do. This whole section here is described on those five pages. Let's just feel a little excitement about this text here together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I feel I add a bit of enthusiasm to come across as a bit more optimistic in the camera than I am actually am. But today I actually feel optimistic because uh, I think what I realized is that the programming wheel for the drums doesn't have to be super big. Turns out I don't need super many programming channels to make really expressive music. So we managed to be expressive without being excessive, which I think is great. So I feel the project is moving in the correct direction and the number of Intergotten backers is also moving in the correct direction. I see we have 634 total backers. Each and every one of you whose name is shown next to me here on the screen is making all this possible. Thank you so much for your invaluable support. Hannes says hi as well. I can get more help from Hannes, right? Woo! Exactly. <laughs> Water in wine glass is so underrated. 